So, so far in this timeline, I have a bit of footage showing ruins in Guatemala. Let's first throw in some background music. So in here, I have a bunch of background, whoops. I have some background music that we can work with. Sure, we'll just use that and we'll just rename this music. Sure, you don't really have to rename it, but I'm just going to. I also have some voiceover, part one and a part two. So we'll throw in our part one. And if we take a listen to this, obviously the music's going to be significantly louder. Tychel is the ruin of an ancient city, which was likely to have been. So obviously can't make out anything that's there. So let's go over into Fairlight and fix this. So we'll hop over into Fairlight. And then in Fairlight, actually, let's rename this one VO1. Let's do that. And then let's come over to our audio track two, double click in the dynamics. And in here, we can go send to sidechain. And as you can see down here, we have a sub bus output. So currently, we're just listening to bus one. We can come up here and just listen to uh, the sidechain. It's been called Yaks Mutal, found in a rainforest. So here we can hear everything that is patched into the sub bus or the sidechain sub bus. Forest in Guatemala. If we were to listen to the main sub bus, we would just switch that over. It is one of the large. So now let's affect the music in audio track one. So in audio track one here, we'll double click in dynamics and we have compressor. If we turn the compressor on, we down here, we have listen. So now it's listening and it's going to add on whatever we put into the compressor settings. So the big thing here is threshold. So the threshold is going to be the point in which we're going to start to manipulate that when the uh, wave of the uh, music gets above something, then the compression gets added on. The other thing is we have is ratio, how much compression we're going to add in. So we could add in pretty significant because we really want to pull this down. The big things that we want to uh, take a look at here is the attack, hold, and release. So think of attack, like the fade on to the compression, and then we have hold. So if uh, either the waveform dips below or we have the listen, if that gets to a, uh, gets below, it will hold for so long. So we're not constantly adding compression, re uh, removing compression, adding compression, removing compression. There's a little bit of hold time. People take breaths, people pause for a second. So that's the duration here. And then we have the release, how long the process is of the fate or of the compressor fading off. So I like to bump these up quite a bit. We can fine tune this obviously. So now if we listen, Tychel is the ruin of an ancient city, which was likely to have been called Yaks Mutal, found in a rainforest in Guatemala. And if we want to see what it's actually doing, if we click in here, it is one of the largest arc. We can see the amount that it is being applied, right? So the compressor is fully getting applied here. sites and urban centers of the pre-Columbian Maya civilization. It is located in the archaeological region of. And so this little portion right here, pre-Columbian Maya civilization. It is located in. We heard this snare, and so the hold wasn't long enough. So I'll increase the hold a little bit longer. Civilization. It is located in... And now it's below, so... In the archaeological region of the Petan Basin, in what is now northern Guatemala. So the release might be a little long there. Well, hold and release are a little long there. I think I would reduce the hold and maybe increase the release just ever so slightly. Um, the cool thing here is we didn't add any keyframes in. So now we could, let's say we want this first sentence and then a pause, and then maybe once the frame changes, then the next one. So I've been called Yaks Mutal. So right here, let's just cut that quick. Found in a rainforest in Guatemala. And then right here, maybe we'll start that other portion. The ruin of an ancient city, which was likely to have been called Yaks Mutal found in a rainforest in Guatemala. So you can hear it's adding compression, then it's slowly pulling the compressor out, and then it's adding the compression back in. So now that is just one track, right? So maybe we have multiple pieces of dialogue, multiple mics that we wanna reduce, maybe the background music or whatever it may be. So let's add in a whole nother track for the other voiceover that I have in this project as well. 
Just come over and let's add that other one in and we can change this to VO2. And let's go back over into Fairlight. I guess I could have did it in Fairlight as well. And then in here, we just come over and we add this to send. So now if we listen to just the side chain. It is one of the largest archaeological site in basin in what is now northern Guatemala. Tycho was the capital. So they're both getting added into that side chain. And since they're both added into the side chain, obviously the music track is going to be affected by both of them. So let's switch that back over and listen to the magic. In what is now northern Guatemala. Tycho was the capital of a conquest state that became one of the most powerful kingdoms of the ancient Maya. Though monumental architecture of the site dates back as far as the... So like I was saying, if we come back over to here, this is going to be all of the settings. If we didn't want to have it pull back so much, we could reduce some of that compression. Fourth century BC, Tycho reached its apogee during the classic period, 200 to 900. During this time, the city dominated much of the Maya region politically, economically, and militarily, while interacting with areas throughout Mesoamerica such as the great metropolis of Teotihuacan in the distant valley of Mexico. So that's... That's pretty much it. It's not that difficult. Side chaining definitely saves a lot of time, especially if you have multiple tracks of different people talking. So maybe you're on a shoot and you have six people that all have mics. You can put them on all different tracks and then you could have all of those tracks get piped into a different bus. So the a side chain bus, and then we listen to that side chain on all of the tracks that we want to have that auto ducking added in there. The big things to get the auto ducking to sound good, it's going to be the attack, hold, and release. Those are the things that are going to be the fade on in between breaths, that pause that it holds that compression for a little bit of time. And then we have the fade off of the compression as well with the release there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Now I know on the YouTube channel, I don't do a lot of audio stuff. On the website, I actually have a full blown uh, course on everything in Fairlight it is actually the certification course. You don't really have to take the certification test if you don't want to, but if you are serious about learning audio, I go over every tool and if you're interested after taking the course you can take the certification test for free and if you do pass it you get a certification that is actually uh, submitted to you by Blackmagic Design. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna know more about DaVinci Resolve just in general, I have a whole website dedicated to it. If you want some free titles, I have those on the website as well. If you want some transitions, slideshows, other sets of titles, I also have those on the website as well. So take a look at that. Like I said, links are in the description for all of that stuff. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, guys. Peace.